Hey, what's up guys? Ben here. I'm um, doing a review of the Oakley Oakley Holbrook Mix Prism Sapphire Polarized Collection with Matte Black Tortoise Frames. If that's not a mouthful, I don't know what is. Um, no joke, I literally had to write down the name of these um, because it was just way too much for me to remember. But, uh, so I've got a number of pair of Oakleys. I've got, I got the half jackets. I got flak jackets. I got flak jacket 2.0s. Um, this is the first pair. This is really the first pair of sunglasses I've ever owned that are, that are what I would consider just fun sunglasses. I can see myself going out on a boat, taking these on a, you know, going on the beach, doing whatever. Um. I'm fortunate enough to have access to Oakley SI, which is Oakley standard issue. Um, if you know anybody, or if you're in the military, or if you're a first responder, EMT, firefighter, police officer, anything like that, um, you can you can sign up on their website. It's actually OakleySI.com. They offer pretty great discounts. Uh, th this video is not sponsored by them at all. I, I wish it was, but um, I've priced these out on Amazon. I've priced them out on Oakley's uh, regular website and these are the again we'll go through it but these are the Prism P if you can see it right there um, basically Prism is their new lens technology that makes everything look look better and I, I admit it does and the P is obviously for polarized um, but these priced out on their website are like $235 I really like these sunglasses, I really do, but they are, if I paid $230 for these, I'd be pissed. I got them for, I think about 125 or so. Um, I don't think that's unreasonable, but uh, the reason I say that I'd be pissed is because when I got them, I took them out of the box, everything looks great, and I don't know if you can hear it now, and I will admit that the, the problem has worked itself out, but just listen. They sound like sunglasses that just don't fit. Um, and if I was spending over $200 for them, I would absolutely not expect to hear that kind of noise when I grab onto my sunglasses. And again, I'll admit, they've gotten, they're probably 10 times better than they were when I first got them. But when I first picked them up, I was like, are you kidding me? Like I've had, you know, I've had $12 pair of sunglasses that didn't creak and crack and pop and do all that when you just pick them up essentially. The Holbrooks. So these have got, there's a, there's a number of different styles to them. Um, you've got the standard, which is all plastic. So you got the plastic front and a plastic uh, earpiece. You've got the metal, which is a metal earpiece and a metal front. And then you have the mix. And I went to a, uh, I think it was Sunglass World or Sunglass Hut, because I wanted to see, you know, what fit best, what I liked best, and I settled on the mix. Um, I think it, I think it's got a good style. I like the metal earpieces; gives it a little more of a premium feel, but the uh, plastic up front still gives it the same, uh, the same profile that I was looking for. The metal ones, they're not bad, but they, they just, they're, I mean, they're literally as, you know, as thin as this piece of metal, even up on the front. And I think it takes away from the, the look of the glasses. So my my second issue with these is, you know, when you're buying polarized sunglasses, again, we'll, we'll hit the prism P right there, P indicating polarized. The whole point of that is to cut down on glare. The problem with these is, is the back of the lenses is so shiny. And I'm, yeah, I can see that it's actually picking it up there, that you're you actually have glare on the on the back part of the lens. So if it's sunny enough to where your face is getting lit up, you can see that on the back of the lens. Is it enough to make these pointless or make them ineffective? No. But it's definitely enough to notice and it's it's kind of distracting. Um again, I got these as a fun pair of sunglasses. I'm not you know, driving glasses, going out. If I'm going to be out in the sun for a while, that's what these are for. Um, 
it's not a huge issue, but it's it's distracting. It's noticeable. And again, if if I spent two hundred thirty dollars on a pair, I'd I'd want to feel like I spent two hundred thirty dollars on them. Uh, you got the unobtainium. That's Oakley's, I guess, proprietary um, rubber earpieces that supposedly when you sweat they create a better grip. But I definitely did not notice these. These don't feel like they're going to fall off your face. Uh, the plus of the metal is you can actually get them bent. So if this is too small, you can kind of get them bent out a little bit. Um, they're very comfortable sunglasses. Definitely like them. But uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and finish this beer. You guys take a look at a quick little montage I made up. So the last part, we'll go over the uh, matte black tortoise, and it's probably going to be kind of difficult to see, especially since I have to focus it like this. You can probably tell about right, let's see, right there. So tortoise frames are generally translucent. This is matte black tortoise. Um, out in the sun, it's. It, it, I think it looks great. Um, initially, I thought it kind of looked like camo, just based off the pictures on the website. And I wasn't. I don't know. I didn't really want that. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, out in the sun, so so you've got portions of it that are translucent. You have portions of it that are matte black. I, I guess technically the whole thing's matte black, but some of them are more. Uh, some of the areas are more translucent than others. You got this area here. You got this area here down on the bottom. I think it looks great. Out in the sun, it kind of lights up the frame. Um, I, I really like it. I think I think it looks good. But uh, all in all, I love these sunglasses. You know, minus the couple of issues, this this is just really a great pair to go out and enjoy the day. And I uh, I don't know. I'm happy I bought them. But again, two hundred thirty-five bucks. $230? Absolutely not. A little over 100 bucks all day. Bottom line is, this. these are a, uh, a fun pair of sunglasses you can take out. With, at the price point that I paid, I'm not worried about breaking them. I'm not worried about dropping them in the water or anything like that. Um, obviously, I don't want that to happen, but I'm not sitting there freaking out over it. But hey, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave me a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave me a thumbs down. That way I know that I'm making shit content. And uh, have a good rest of your day.